and welcome to another purveyor of light Photoshop quick tip. Uh, today we're going to have a fun effect. We're going to be studying the Ademiski uh, effect. And I apologize if I butchered that name. But uh, this was an effect that was done uh, by Josh Ademiski in Tel Aviv in 1948, believe it or not. And it's kind of like a uh, photo impressionist um, style. And uh, it's a very easy technique to do. Uh, but you can get really creative with a lot of your photos. And uh, basically you just need to have a subject or a person of object of interest with the background. And then you can isolate the subject and then you uh, radically uh, blur the the thing here's an example of one with vertical uh, you can do vertical and horizontal um, here's another example on how you can make that uh, artistic effect look and one last thing here here you can have one on a horizontal uh, with the person uh, like there and so you can make some really cool effects and it's really really easy to do okay so I'm going to spend a lot more time explaining than I am actually going to do this effect. But let's go ahead and jump in. I went ahead and selected this photo for the effect here. I thought it would be a good subject. And so we'll find out. So I'll uh, go in here. Okay, so my subject, of course, is going to be the horse and the horseback rider. And uh, the background is what I want to blur. So I'm going to need to separate the two objects. So the first thing I need to do is I need to select the subject. So let's see how Photoshop select subject works. And that has done an outstanding job. Okay, so I'm going to throw that on its own layer. Uh, Command and Control J. And uh, let's take a look at that. Yeah, that looks great. Good enough for our purposes. And... Um, I'm going to actually take that away and I'm going to go select subject one more time. And I'm going to select and mask because I want to just, just clean it up just a little bit. Uh, and I want to put it on a layer mask. So I'm putting it on new layer with layer mask. That gives me a little more flexibility. So we'll hit OK. And now we have that layer there. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is turn off the visibility of that, turn on the visibility of the background, and I'm going to, on this mask layer, I'm going to hit the command click, and that's going to reselect the subject for me. But I'm now going to go to the background layer, and I'm going to go to my select tool, and I want to modify that selection. I want to expand it a little bit so that it blends in nice, maybe 10 pixels. And um, that just expands the select section further around the horse and the rider. Uh, as you can see here, now I have a space uh, around that. And that gives me a little more flexibility to blend in. Uh, so with that done, I am now going to go to Edit and Content Aware. And let Photoshop do it. And it did a pretty good job. Now, we don't expect perfection. We don't need perfection, but you can see it's done a pretty good job. So we'll hit OK. OK, so now we have removed the subject from our thing. I'm going to Command and Control D to deselect. OK, I am now going to uh, take these two layers and hold the select key, the shift key to select both layers, and then I am going to uh, Merge these layers, merge the visible layers. So now that we have just the, the background and we have the subject. So on the background, the only thing left to do is to do our artistic uh, abstract. Uh, and we'll do that by blurring. So filter and blur. And then we'll use a motion blur. Okay. And then you have to decide whether, you know, a uh, uh, you could change the angle of your blur. You know, if you want to do vertical blurs, if you feel that's going to work with your, your photo better, okay? Or any, any angle above whatever you decide. I'm going to go with zero. I think that'll work well with this photo. 
And then I just have to decide how much. And I'm going to think 813 pixels looks just about nice, gives me the streaks I want. And I hit OK. And so that's looking really good, gives me that nice artistic look. And there we are, Command Control Zero to get a full screen. And there we are, we have done the uh, Adivsky uh, effect. And it's just that easy. It's something that you can do incredibly easy with just about any photo. And again, your creativity is your limitation. So take some of these here and say, ah, and give you some ideas. These, these artistic effects will give you some ideas on how to, how to be creative and do them. But for, for the actual doing effect, you couldn't get any easier. So, okay, guys, till next week. You guys take care.